they have different volumes of the same liquid. In other words, that has the same density, right? Uh, density is an intensive property. So this liquid is added to a flask, which is on a balance. Balance is measure mass. After each time the liquid is added, the mass of the flask is measured. All right, we got that information right there in this table. Graph the data using mass as the dependent variable. That's the y-axis. All right, let's do that. Let's make a graph. Um, okay. I don't know how much room I'll need. I'll just use my whole screen here. Bring this, bring this guy in with me. Where should I put him? Maybe right there. It's pretty safe. It'll be out of the way right over there. Okay. Mass, they told us to put over here. And volume, put us over there. Volume's not going to reach 100, so we'll just, 82 is the biggest one, so we'll say that's 50. That's 100. This is not drawn to scale. And grams, maximum is 200. So we'll say that is 200 grams. And see, this is 100. All right, let's go put these uh, points in there. All right, first one, 14. Uh, now I'm gonna maybe I'll need, need some more tick marks here. That's 25. No, that's yeah. Yo, this is 75. All right. So 14 is right around there. I would say, and we're gonna go all the way to 103, right around there. All right. X1. 27 is right past 25. And that's going to go up to 120. So, uh, 120. Oh man, this is. Maybe I should use a computer software for this spreadsheet. 41 is 25 is there. 30 is there. 40, 45. 41 is like there-ish maybe. All right, that's going to go up to like 130, something like that. 139. Yep. And then 55 is like there somewhere. And it's like 60, near 160. This is not supposed to be curving up. That's there. And then uh, 82 is like. That's 50, 75, 80, 85, 90, 90. No, that's definitely not right. 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. So 80, 82 is like there. Go up here to close to the 90. All right. Let's draw the best fit line there. What we got. It's not too bad. Okay. Let's see what the, what are the questions? What is the mass of the flask? Mass of the flask. <laughs> we can't tell from the graph. Let's do some math. Uh, hold on. Did it say use the graph data? The mass. Use the graph data. All right. Well, I did all this for nothing because this graph is just I freehanded it. Um, you know what we can do? I'm not doing this again. We're just going to use uh, some points here to get the y-intercept. So we can do that. Let's find the slope. All right. So we're gonna find the slope. Y equals mx plus b. Actually, yeah. Let's just go with. Let's go right to the slope. All right. So uh, mass. Let's just pick two points up here. Um, pick two points. Let's just do the first two right there. So m is the slope. Is gonna be 120. 0.4 minus 103.0. And that's going to be over the uh, x, change in x is 27 
minus 14. All right, plug that in our calculators. 120.4 minus 103 is 17.4. Over, that's grams, by the way. Let me do a little better. 17.4 grams over 27 minus 14, 13. Yep, 13. 13 milliliters, let's do the math there, 17.4 divided by 13 is 1.338, I'm going to save that number. So the, uh, so the density, which is, which is a slope, is 1.338 grams per milliliters. All right, I have that number stored because it's, I'm going to copy right now, so I don't lose that. Now we we have that we have that. So now let's find the y-intercept. We'll just pick. Uh, let's set the x to uh, zero. Uh, a little a little more room. All right. So let's just use one of these points. Uh, find the y-intercept. So y, let's just use the same numbers, 103.0, just using the, row, the numbers right there, equals m, which is found to be 1.338 grams per milliliters. This is grams, by the way. x is going to be uh, 14 milliliters plus... B. That's where that's our y intercept. All right, that's going to cancel out. B is going to cancel out. All right, actually, let's cancel out later. Okay, how do we isolate B? Let's multiply this uh, 14 times. Let's just take this to the other side. Hmm. All right, 103. 0 0.0 minus, now oh, the grams aren't going to cancel out, minus 1.338 mm. times 14 grams equals B. All right, I just Subtracted both sides by that to isolate B. That's what I did. All right. One point. Oh, I just had that number. All right. So that number that was in my calculator, I'm going to multiply by 14. All right. And then now I'm going to take, I'm just going to do the math. 103 minus, uh, 103 minus, 18.73, that number. All right, so I, I just did all the math on that side. All right, I multiplied there, and I subtracted it from 103. All right, so B is equal to 84.26. That's our y-intercept. So the flask, when there's no liquid, when there's no liquid here, that's the uh, x-axis, the flask has a mass of 84. How many sig figs? Two? Yeah, let's go with two. 84 grams. Flask. That's the answer to A. All right. Unless these are like, unless I had a, unless these were all off. I, anyway, I'm not doing it. Not doing anymore. Uh, B. What is the density of the liquid? Well, we did that. It's one. That's the slope. 1.338. So let's get that to two sig figs as well. All right. 1.3 grams per milliliter. All right. The slope is density. When we have a graph where it's mass versus volume.